Howdy do, Ranger Roos, and welcome to another episode of Building Stuff with Bach, where we are going to be using Autodesk Inventor to make some complicated stuff. We are going to be using our polygon tool, we're going to be using the pattern tools, and we're going to be using the constraints. Now, you might be asking, what's a polygon? And that's what a young kid says when their parrot flies away. Ah, Polly's gone. Polly's gone. No, nothing. I think I'm hilarious. Well, the polygon is just a closed shape, um, and we're going to be using that. Now, this is going to be a two-part video. By the end of this video, you're going to have something that looks like this right here. And I know a number of you just try to rush through this stuff and fast forward and then, you know, try to mimic what I did. Don't do that. It's incredibly important that you learn how to use these tools. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to start a new part. File, new part. 2D sketch. And this is going to start with a basic rectangle. So rectangle right there up and to the right. It is six inches long, hit the tab key, four inches wide. So we have a rectangle right there. Finish the sketch. We're gonna extrude this out 0.25 of an inch. So a quarter of an inch right there. There we go. And we are going to start a 2D sketch. Now this right here, everybody look where, where this is. This is a construction line. Construction line is sort of like a very light dotted line that actually isn't there. It's not part of the object. It's a ghost line. And we are going to draw a number of construction lines to help us make our geometry a little easier. So click on construction right there. See how it's highlighted? And then I'm going to go to line. Then I am going to have this click on the corner and then opposite corner. Same thing, I haven't deselected construction line. So corner to corner right there, corner to corner here. There we go. And corner to corner this way as well. So if you did it right, all these dotted lines, and you can see how they're dotted right there, all these dotted lines meet in the center. Now this is important. When you're done with construction lines, click off the construction line. Otherwise, you're going to continue to draw in dotted ghost lines. We're going to start off with a polygon. Now, I use my polygon joke already. So if, if you want, it's when a parrot flies away. It's really sad. <laughs> so right here, I'm going to find polygon. And we get to determine how many sides we want. If we want a three-side polygon, that's a triangle. If we want a eight-sided, if we want a five-sided, I am going to start with a five right there. Now coming on to this uh, vertical line, I am going to click like so. And... Okay, that makes my polygon. I'm going to dimension this, and it is 0.35 of an inch. So dimension, center to the edge like that, 0.35, enter. Now we're going to use our constraint tool, parallel constraint. Click on the bottom of our polygon. Click on the bottom of this. And you can see how it sort of clicked right there. Let me show you again. I'll back arrow. So mine is slightly askew. It's a little bit ang uh, angled. Parallel constraint. Bottom of this. Bottom of that. And it goes ahead and it clicks right there. And we are very, very happy. Now I've got to do a little bit more dimensioning. So dimension from the center line to the bottom of that, I want it at 0 0.5, 0 0.5 right there. And now I am very, very happy. Hooray for this. I'm going to do another polygon, 
but this time it is going to be a six-sided polygon. And I am going to click it right there. Bam. And I have uh, my polygon. It is going to be 0.25 of an inch this time. So dimension from the center to there, 0.25. And I want to parallel this top to there. So you can see I've got the parallel line just like so. And let's see. Next, I want a, oh, it's 0.5 of an inch from the center too. I forgot that right here from the top, from the center here to the top there, 0.5. There we go. So that is 0.5 on center there. Now it's time for a three-sided polygon. And you might be saying three-sided polygon, that's just a triangle. And you're right. So right here, oops, polygon, three-sided, going to go on this line and have it index like so. And this is going to be a 1.25 inch equilateral triangle. So dimension right there. Oops. Let me do that a little bit better. Dimension from that point to this point. Come on triangle, stop fighting me. There we go. Make sure it comes out straight like that. It may take a few times like I just had. 1.25. And I am going to coincident constraint this. So I'm going to use coincident constraint, the point of the triangle with that edge right there. And you can see that coincident constraints just like so. Now this is going to be about the time you want to save this. So finish sketch, file, save as, and the assignment number is 1.3.4. Uh, I'm going to put this on number two because I already have one saved. It's going to be on my desktop. There we go. Now that I've saved this, don't just start drawing on this. You want to edit the sketch. So right click, edit. And we are going to start playing with some of the pattern tools. And it makes things a lot easier. So click on the circular pattern right here. And you have the geometry. You have the axis. So click on geometry, and you're going to highlight this right here. And click on, you see I, I selected this. I'm going to click on There we go. Come on. Oh, I see what I did. I made a rookie mistake right here. Put in a point right there. Okay, if you didn't see what I just did for my rookie mistake, I forgot to put in a point. So point right in the middle. Now it'll work for us. Okay, circular. Choose the geometry. So click on that. Highlight it like this axis it'll click that point right there and boom you can see what it did sorry about that i forgot the point you should have pointed it out i'm going to change this to five because i want five of them right there click ok and you can see that is a heck of a lot easier 
than actually trying to draw that thing. Trying to draw this would be nearly impossible. Okay, now we're going to do some stuff with our hexagons in the upper right hand corner. So we are going to use our rectangular pattern. And it's much the same thing. Click on our geometry. Highlight that right there. And click on direction. And you can see a green line just appeared right here. If I wanted it to go the other way, I can flip that and you can see the green line goes this way and it goes there. So I want direction one and I want three of them. So three right there. And my spacing is a little bit too big. Let me try 0.25. Ah, that's not right. Let me try 0.75. There we go, that's better. 0.75 and that gives me that right there and I can click OK. Now I want to do the same thing. Rectangular tool. I'm going to highlight my geometry. And let's see if I can get, and you see I just clicked one. Click it on direction. The arrow is going up. I want the arrow to go down and you can see it puts that ghost image right there. I want two of these, so let me highlight these two. Direction one goes up. I want to swap that, change this to 0.75. Here we go, and click OK. So you can see I've got this pattern, and I did it two different ways. Now it comes on for the triangle right here. The same thing, we are going to use the rectangular pattern. Highlight my geometry right here. Direction, I'm gonna click on this line. You can see the green uh, arrow takes me that way. I don't want that. I want it this way. I want the spacing to be 0.2 and I am going to put seven triangles right there. You might be thinking seven triangles, that's ridiculous, too many triangles. Don't worry, it's okay. Click on okay right there. And this is pretty much what our geometry should look like. And you know what a geometry is? It's what an acorn says when it grows up. Gee, I'm a tree. <laughs> so we're gonna finish our sketch and it comes time to do some extruding. Extrude. And we are going to click through all right here. And I am going to start clicking on all of my shapes that I just drew. Now on our triangle, we've got to zoom in and we've got to do some, some fancy footwork right here. So if you see, I'm not choosing all the triangles. You got to be very careful with your clicking. So I am choosing this triangle right here, this part, this part, okay? Then I'm skipping a triangle. This part, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part. Skipping a triangle and this part, this part, this part. Uh, zoom in at the little tip of the triangle. So you can see I'm making a pattern. You don't get it right the first time, it's okay. You can keep on clicking. Once everything is done, and again, the triangles are click, uh, tricky, click on OK. And that, my friends, that is the shape. Now I want you to put your initials on this 2D sketch. Choose it right there. And I will not accept this unless your name is on this. So make sure that you have your name on there, finish the sketch, and now make sure that you save it. So this is video one of two. The second video that we do is going to play with some different stuff in this right here.
So I know that this is a complicated one. I know that uh, I messed up by forgetting to put the point in the center of this. Hopefully you don't do the same thing. And I know that selecting these uh, pieces right here will be a little bit difficult. So go ahead, stop this video, rewind and replay as many times as you need in order to get the concepts.